So let's look at improving our roots. If you come over to the, root, the application, open up the roots folder and open up web.php. And you can see all we have at the moment is our resource route that we put in place. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new route and we're gonna namespace this and we're gonna give it a namespace of admin. So what this allows us to do is we don't need to put admin at the front of our controllers anymore. So we do it here once and then we don't need to do it for any more routes in this group. We're also gonna give it a prefix and the prefix is gonna be admin. And what this prefix does it adds admin to the start of the URL. So all the routes that are going to be in this group, we don't no longer need the admin. And we're also going to give this a name prefix. And we're going to call this admin dot. And what this does is it adds admin dot to the start of all the routes. So over in the terminal with PHP artists and root list, we can see the names at the moment is user.index, user.update, and so on. But these will now be prefixed with admin.users.index. So it's a nice way to group things together. So now we have them in place, so all we need to do is call the group method and we'll just pass this in a closure. So now all the routes that we put inside of this group are gonna have the namespace, the prefix and the name automatically applied. So let's grab this uh, resource route here and let's pop it inside here. Now obviously, because we've got the prefix, we no longer need this admin part here. And because we got the namespace, we no longer need this admin bit here. And let's just save on that. So now any more routes that we put inside this group here, they will all have a namespace, a prefix, and a name prefix in the views. So if we just list our routes out again, so as you can see for the views, all of the names have now prefixed with admin dot. And also the URLs are all prefixed with admin even though we didn't specifically say it on the actual root, it's because it's in the root group it's applied. So if we just refresh our application, we now should get an error. And here it is, it's saying it doesn't know what the root users.index is. And that's because it is now admin.users.index. So if we come over to our application under resources, views, layouts, app.blade.php, here in our root method for the link, we pass users.index. This now needs to be admin.users.index. So we'll just save on that. We can now see the page loads. And in our drop down, and we go to user management, you can see we get our user index page string back from the controller, and everything's working again. So in the next video, let's look at building our users controller out. And let's send the user data down to the view and list the users onto the page.